295. So Akira Nova is asking for support. It's like 22295. So we're still above the support technically for Luna Classic. If I look at ETHW, I think about 9.30 a.m. I'm at 9.30 p.m. That's when we're going to get a little bit of a movement for ETHW and Bitcoin. I think it's going to take Bitcoin a while to cool down. Maybe by 9.30 we can break. I don't know why I got a three-minute chart there. And I'll draw the line on this Bitcoin chart as well so we can see that 9.30. So right here. Boom. I'm not saying the price is going to moon like this. I'm just drawing the line so I can recognize when this candle comes at 9.30. And uh, I can add the alert for once the price goes over, but basically, uh, I can just do an alert on my phone for 9:30. Brinson, oh man, Borison had the stream li live. He was not, yeah. Make sure you click that live button so you're not behind. Good gravy. Good gravy. Can you imagine somebody's behind like 10 minutes? <laughs> A lot of stuff happens within 10 minutes. A lot of stuff would happen within 10 minutes. So set your hand, set back and wait until 930. If you're really edging to make a trade, use that demo trading feature. Use the demo trading. Definitely demo trade is the way. It's better demo trade on a website where you get a user interface and you can track the stuff percentage. But you can also do it on Excel spreadsheet as well. But sometimes like you don't know if your orders would have actually filled. Without doing a lot deeper calculations on the volume side and everything. Let me finish this Chick-fil-A before things get... Uh, Heated up to tonight. SRP is well below that 50 cents resistance, by the way. Um, so let me draw that resistance for, um, Right here for XRP. All right, I got our resistance up here for XRP. Uh, this is our resistance for XRP YouTube. And this is the XRP chart. And I'm going to post this chart on uh, Twitter as well. This is uh, it's a cool chart. Look at all these liquidations up here for XRP though. All right, let me put it in the chart channel on Discord as well. It, it, it's good to have a little bit of fun with your charts. It can keep you entertained. So yeah, we got this resistance up here. Uh, 50 cents for XRP. I had a tweet earlier. Let me show you my tweet real quick. This was my tweet earlier before we broke the downtrend. I said, what would you do if ETHW broke this downtrend? And look at that pattern. Woo! And then after we broke the downtrend, look at that. My God. That's a big move up for ETHW.
Sometimes adding vigils help you uh, follow a little bit better. You think it's coming down, Sin Games? I mean, technically, Parabolic SAR, we are coming down. I think at this 930 candle, Bitcoin should be cooled down by then. Uh, this 930 candle. Like, even even like with the R side like this. On the hourly, we're, we're still uptrending on the hourly for Bitcoin. So, uh, with this block, once Bitcoin breaks this downtrend... It's game over. If Bitcoin breaks this downtrend around 930 or right here leading up to 930, then it could help East W get an uptrend. So that's what I'm hoping for. Definitely hoping for it. This is our new hourly candle, YouTube, popping up here. Our new hourly candle is about to roll in. Can you switch to dark mode on... Yeah, you can click switch to dark mode. Here, I'll show you real quick. So if you go to Met C, if you go up here to the top right setting, um... If you go up to the top right and click this gear icon, you click this gear icon, you click the gear icon, and after you click gear icon, you can change display. Now, for display, you can change it to dark mode, and then boom. You can do light mode, dark mode, you can do horizontal, you can do pro. Pro, you get the chart horizontal. It's a little bit more thin. Dark, dark mode is better because uh, in a dark room, when you switch to the white screen, man, that blind. I don't know if somebody else will have the same problem. Like, you are in a pretty lit room. Some of us are in a cave. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'll put it on dark mode. You can put it on dark mode. I think light mode's a little bit better for what I'm looking at, but it depends. Uh, I mean, the dark mode does line up with the color scheme of my charts as well. I'm hoping that before or at 930, Bitcoin can actually break this downtrend that we are in. Uh, generally, when Bitcoin breaks a downtrend, a lot of people that are shorting it, that have been shorting it since up here, they will automatically take profits. So, we're on the new hourly candle here. Let's see if Bitcoin gets a little bit of traction. Um, yeah, he said most of us are in a cave. So, I put it on dark mode. I, I Alright, I understand like a lot of you guys are in the dark. So, I'll leave it on dark mode. Uh, I don't think you want to see that. You want to get blinded from going to a pure black background to a white background. And I guess for something like nomets.com as well. If I go to nomets, I can also change it to night mode as well for you guys. So you just click this little moon icon at the top. So I'll put everything on dark mode. Everything on dark mode.
If I look at all these cryptos together, uh, the Bitcoin, Ethereum are uptrending. Doge, Doge is going to be a little bit delay on the uptrend, but once it uptrend, it's going to be beautiful. And then XRP was downtrending, so everything was like Bitcoin was downtrending, Doge was downtrending. Now at this moment, around before 9:30, may possibly get a little bit of uptrend. Uh, let's see how this is happening for ETHW during the new hourly candle. So we're inside this new hourly candle and we already have over over 1 million volumes. Not big. Our volume definitely started falling off after this $14 resistance that we came 3 cents shy of touching. So hopefully this volume picks up again on that buy side. Maybe around this 9.30 o'clock candle right here, we can get a little bit of that movement. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, it's about 9.02 p.m., so we have about 30 minutes, 27 to be exact. I still did not finish this Chick-fil-A sandwich. I'm not super hungry, that's why. Hmm. Remember how I said China was behind America on a lot of these corporations? Take a look at this tweet right here. Chinese car company Xping copy Tesla's autopilot visualization. It does look like exactly like the Tesla, almost exactly like the Tesla model car as well. Very crazy. Um but keep in mind, Tesla said a lot of their patents and stuff are, they're not going to sue people. They give a lot of their patents for the public. So I don't know if the uh, whole inside of this, like copying the visuals and stuff, Tesla would sue or not. But man, uh, copying, you're behind. So we're going to see what happens around this 9 uh, 9.30 p.m. candle for Ethereum proof of work. So, uh, I'm a duck. You're, you're pasting the link wrong, I believe. Uh, the link is not working. Uh, I'm going to give you the link, I'm a duck. I'll message it to you on Discord. Uh, you're missing parts of that link when you paste it. Uh, I'll send you the right link. There's still 17 days on the uh, deposit and trade for a chance to win $9,100 as well. And I don't think it's 9100 for one person, but people will get like a portion, depending on what they're trading. And the more money you trade, the uh, your future trading fee discount is a lot lower. So if you're trading with $10,000 or greater than, you get about 5% discount. Versus $500,000, you get about 30% discount. Or you can bypass that by getting uh, your trading volume up as well. Yeah, you're welcome, Mama Duck. So we're going to check on that Bitcoin chart real quick. We're still not break this downtrend yet. I'm hoping that at 930, that candle, around that 930, that we break this downtrend for Bitcoin. And I, I mapped it out earlier, and I think it's 930. That's when Bitcoin will break the downtrend. And if it breaks the downtrend, great. And we look at Luna Classic. Luna Classic looks like it's... Uh, it was downtrending quite a while for Luna Classic. It started getting some buy pressure coming back in here. I do have that thesis that Luna Classic, once the supply starts getting burned, price could appreciate. But at the same time, the taxing the transactions has slowed down the trading volume. So it will take time for Luna Classic to be burned. 
but if more people go to their projects then great it's a little bit hard to have incentive when you have a big tax 1.2 percent for withdrawals and deposits though but the price is very cheap for this price is still very cheap for luna classic it's still under one cents Luna Classic's less volatile than ETHW. Like this big candle, the biggest candle we had right here was only about 2.97%. And this is on the five minute chart, where if I go to ETHW and our recent big candle on ETHW, um, our big buy candle right here on the five minutes, it was a spread of about 6%. So ETHW is still way more volatile than Luna Classic right here. After we broke the downtrend for ETH W, we had a nice run up. Like um, the most it ran up from breaking the downtrend was about nine point eight percent, and currently we're still about three point five four percent above that area where we broke the downtrend. But it is slowly coming back down for ETH W right here. We've been parabolic SAR since about eleven dollars seventy cents, so it's down almost sixty cents per ETH W since the. Parablock SAR started. And we've been in this choppy block as well after breaking the downtrend is coming down. So I'm hoping by 930, if Bitcoin can break the downtrend, great. And I think about 930 we can be oversold on the five minutes and get ready for a bounce up, break this downtrend. Definitely there's more shorts piling in for Bitcoin that could get fuel to the fire once we get a nice little uptick. Now I have to warn you, we're, we're we're heading into Sunday morning in the United States in about three hours. It's going to be really early. So Monday morning, a lot of people may not want to trade because they're afraid that the stock market's going to fall. So just being able to trade crypto while the market's closed has been a blessing. Uh, if I was trading this stuff while markets are open, I'm looking at the SPY, the NASDAQ, everything. Spe speaking about looking at other things. Luna Classic's breaking the downtrend right here as well. So this movement up from sideways trading to break the downtrend is up almost 6% for Luna Classic. Keep in mind, Luna Classic, if I put it on the 15-minute chart though and try to map out the downtrend, uh, it would paint a different picture. Because we had a downtrend before we broke it, spiked up. Let's just use that line, drag, drag it out. And this, this downtrend has pretty significant amount of data points right here. Pretty significant amount of data points for this downtrend. So looking at the longer time frame, we are far from breaking this downtrend. It would have to spike up back to 25. So we would have to come back up to 25 to even break this downtrend. Now, from the price to here to here, that's about a 8% climb. Uh... 8% is not big because right here, this dip down was a 20% drop, by the way. But, yeah. Luna Classic still hasn't broke the downtrend yet from the run up. Up above 31 cents. And then if I look a little bit deeper on this thing and drag this out more. Because there's not many data points. Because it's a little bit steeper like this last spike up at 38 yeah we still have to break that 25 so we even broke the double bottom at 2643 we bounced off of it multiple times for people to get entries like every time we bounced off of it we had significant price move like our last last bounce off of it gave us about a six percent up trend uh, the biggest bounce off the double bottom was 20 percent up but since that double bottom, that's our resistance, we're down about 10%. So, Luna Classic, uh, there are people that are pushing and they're also trying to get people to opt in on that tax burn for Binance. Now, users would be allowed to opt in or opt out of the tax. Uh, let's go back to Ethereum. This is regular Ethereum. Ethereum's also looking like it could uptrend around that same time as Bitcoin around 9.30 or a little bit before. 
Definitely edging closer and closer to this liquidation block and closer and closer breaking this downtrend for Ethereum. For this short-term downtrend, we could be breaking it relatively soon. A Bitcoin, I think around 9.30, that's that's the moment we start breaking this downtrend. Just the gut feeling and looking at the uh, chart, trying to map out the, the RSI and everything cooling down. So uh, about 18, 18 minutes, give or take. So if you need a bathroom or anything, go to the bathroom real quick. 18 minutes, maybe we get some price action, a little bit more volatility on this cryptocurrency tonight. And uh, on the demo trading account for Bitcoin, the position is down over $1,000, starting with 50000 And that's just 2% down. Liquidation price would be $18,082. And that's on 20 times leverage, by the way. Very high leverage. Very high leverage. But if Bitcoin breaks this downtrend right here, by the way, you can draw it on the charts. Uh, let's not use that. Let's do it from up here. Let's change it to the five minutes. If Bitcoin breaks this big downtrend that we have here by about 930, then maybe we could get the price appreciate. Let's take a look at the order book here. Order book's getting a lot of volume. Like some of these people are trading like 200 Bitcoin. So total like 2,000. And uh, 2,000, so nice spread. Definitely seeing a little bit more buys down here than sells at these price levels. So let's see if Bitcoin breaks and see if this uh, long will actually print money. Or if it doesn't break, then it's going to lose money. But keep in mind, right here, demo trading. This is on a demo account. No actual risk to me. It, like if I was feeling the urge to trade Bitcoin, I would do this demo trading. Because personally, I don't enjoy trading Bitcoin compared to something like Doge or other coins. Um, it's just not something I enjoy because it, it moves very little. But I'll give you the uh, referral link if you want to set up the demo account. It's the same site where you can trade ETHW. Put it in YouTube chat. And uh, just waiting a little bit longer till this 930 before we get some more volatility. Is there anybody that's in any positions that they're happy with? Uh, PKM. That's the uh, link to the uh, Google form. It's a Google form link. I'm uh, DCing into a Bitcoin long tank. You're DCing into a Bitcoin long? Wow, you didn't... did you sleep, Rob? I didn't. My God, <laughs> Rob, I have a question Hello. for you. If you could trust one person okay. on this Discord to make one trade for you, who would you choose to make one trade for you? One person? Yeah, they don't get access to your account, but they would tell you walk you in a trade for an entry and an exit. Who would you trust? Is there an update on uh, software? All right, it's back now. I'm using the ultra low latency. Maybe that's why. I try to make the stream as real Wait. time as possible. The stream's back. It's good. Um, 15 more minutes until we potentially break this downtrend for Bitcoin. The uh, confirmation-based trader would wait until we actually break the downtrend before they actually enter a position. Some people wait for we break the downtrend and retest the trend line again to enter a position. It just depends on your trading strategy. And then you have the gamblers out there that go 100 times and are instantly liquidated, regardless of which way. <laughs> Blink of an eye. I don't know why a hundred times is like on exchanges. Oh, actually, I know why. 
It's because people have that auto deposit margin. But auto deposit margin with a, a, sty, a stop loss, but man. It's very easy to lose a lot of money on 100 times. I, I feel like doing 100 times on a demo account just to show you guys how quickly a position could go south. Maybe in another stream. But yeah, you should do that, Tim. Right now, I did the uh, 20 times, even 20 times. It could get liquidate on a $900 Bitcoin movement. And I've seen this past week, $900 Bitcoin movement happen about three different times in a short time frame. You know what? Mm. Hey team, uh, 200 viewers, I'll give out a uh, free Discord. If we get 200 viewers, you'll give out a free Discord invite? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Wow. All right, so I'll let you pick the keyboard whenever you you want to wait until we have two hundred viewers though. We might not get two hundred. Yeah, more than likely now. The only way we get two hundred is if people retweet my tweet. So I'll I'll put a tweet up. You guys can retweet it, and we get two hundred viewers. Rob will pay for somebody's Discord invite. Uh, Bitcoin's still getting this downward pressure. It's still on this downtrend. So I put uh, the tweet up. I'll put it in the YouTube chat. You guys go retweet this tweet. I put the link in the chat. Go retweet. We get 200 viewers. Rob will pay for somebody's entry. You still have to do uh, simulate verification so I know who you are, but uh, he'll pay that $50. Mm. Rob was one of the early people in my Discord that actually won the crown of crypto profits in the NFT I made, gave out for free to some users, and um, a way to recognize people that are taking profits. So, I don't think any of the people that I gave that NFT to have put them for sale, which is good, because it's, it's more of a trophy, right? They received it for free, the value is free. If they sell it, though, they have to pay taxes on selling it. I think Spacely, Spacely, I'm not trying to target you, buddy, but you told us multiple times you've been liquidate. And uh, I just want to encourage you, buddy, stop using super high leverage. Start using your stop losses and uh, do the paper trading workout entries for positions. Backtest it. Backtest, backtest, backtest. Uh, this stuff takes thousands of hours. I know you're degen, but... Control yourself, man. Do the paper trading a hundred times so you don't get wrecked. I'll give you the... You, you have Metsy, so just do paper trading on there a hundred times. For your real trades, maybe two to four times leverage. But your hundred times, you can't predict the future. You don't know when Billy Bob's going to sell a billion Doge. You don't know. You don't know when Vlad Tanavia blah blah blah, blah is going to dump 400 billion Doge. I'm joking. Just uh, giving some uh, like it's, you don't know. You don't know. Um, like the price of Bitcoin could go down one percent, very high chance one percent. So you would get liquidate. Uh, let me ping people. Let them know that we're back live. Uh, I'm long on EVW, but I I feel that it could come back down a little bit. I'm just uh waiting for this 9:30 candle though to see what happens. My intro is closer to six dollars, so I don't really care. It's not a big bag either, so even if I close it up here, I'm low leverage. Even if I close it at fourteen, my profit's still not that big. <laughs> it's a small bag. 
I'll get people to come in voice chat as well. And, uh, yeah, we're live. Uh, I think two people retweeted us, but I don't know. I think 200 people, that's a lot of people to get into the Discord. Building well, ADOA. About 150. That's doable. 150 is very doable. All right, 150. That's 30 away. All right. So Rob will do a giveaway for a Discord. Let me go ahead and start the bot so people can start participating. Or do you want to wait until we get 150 people? We got to get 150 first. They can drop down past that, but I need to see 150. Well, our total view so far for the stream has been over 3,200 people. Like, people come in, they watch for segments, and... Mm -hmm. And they'll step away. I'm looking at the watching now. I think the YouTube ad revenue is like very low compared to number of hours for the stream, though. So uh, I don't think the views are really what matters. I think just uh, helping the people that are watching. Absolutely. Because let's let's look at it from a philosophical standpoint. Maybe. Like a Maybe somebody uh, out there does not understand the charts, if, but if they're watching and asking questions, and then they're asking us to look up some of the charts for them. Like they, they can tag me, I can look up chart, do some technical analysis. Maybe that will help them learn something. If they learn that and develop their trading strategy, maybe they maximize their trading profits and have higher gains. So, so Tane, do you see somebody in particular that's been doing that a lot, but is not part of the channel that wants to be? Hmm. Well, I don't know the. I, I see people like Spacely has been asking to get on the okay. Discord for a while, but he's also been degening and gambling like fifty dollars here and there, losing his bags, and he cannot control that degening. Oh. It's hard for him to control that behavior. And join the Discord. Join the Discord will not help him change that behavior. Um, I think he has more of a yeah. addiction for that stuff. So paper trading, paper That's trading would about. actually. Give you that urge. Borson's already on the Discord. Uh, if Spacely wants to join the Discord. Other exchanges will probably list ETHW. How about this? I'm going to end the stream. You guys subscribe. I'll restart this. No. Let's, let's subscribe. Woo. What's the video look like right now? Yeah. We already hit $10. I got to change the thumbnail. The video is pretty good. Yeah, the thumbnail looks weird. That $10 when the price is already back above $10. People might think, oh, it's going to come back down. Yeah. And let's put... So I got to be careful about the uh, YouTube thumbnail, but I'm going to say $50. I think it can go to 50 on a spike up when it's listed on other exchanges. I think it could go to 50 when it's listed on other exchanges. So people got to get a good five times or something or just spot trade. Even spot trade from here to 50, that's like... Uh, five times your money, so you don't even need futures. So let's go ahead and change the uh, YouTube thumbnail. Where where do you hit ten dollars? A lot of people thought my seven dollars price prediction was wild. <laughs> they thought seven dollars was wild when I called it at six dollars. They're like, nope, nope, tame. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna go there.
We don't we don't know exactly when the exchanges are going to list, but uh, let's see. We got two more minutes for this 930 candle. Two more minutes and boom. All right. So Bitcoin already started to break the uh, downtrend right here. Uh, we are about two minutes before the 930 candle. Let's see. Is Bitcoin going to break? Is Bitcoin going to break this downtrend right here on the 930 candle? Let's bring this down to the one minute so we can watch some of those tighter liquidations right here. And um, let's see. We got few more minutes, roughly two minutes before Bitcoin breaks. It's barely touching. It's breaking the downtrend right here. Very touching, very small. So let's see. And by the way, I did a, I did a, I did a long 20 times on this demo account. This is demo trading for Bitcoin. And uh, currently the position is down by 1%. But if we break this downtrend, then this position would theoretically print. So. Uh, 20 times is very high leverage, I might add. Uh, definitely if something volatile. Uh, Bitcoin can be volatile sometimes. So we have about one more minute. We're slowly breaking this downtrend. 9.30 p.m. Let's get it. Come on, come on, come on. Break this downtrend, Bitcoin. And maybe that will give ETHW a little bit more room. So uh, hard to leave this here. We have about one minute. It says 40 seconds left in this candle. And if I look at all these candles right here together, I see Dogecoin is starting to uptrend as well. This would be a good time for people to go long on Doge probably right here. Uh, a lot of traders are probably thinking about buying their Doge right here. And maybe XRP is getting a little bit of uptrend as well. But up, uh, XRP would have to follow Bitcoin. I already see regular Ethereum up here as well. Ethereum, people are starting to buy up some Ethereum as well. That's what's kind of uptrending. So... Here we are, we're at the 9.30 candle, and, uh, yep, here we are. Boom, 9.30 candle, right on the dot, golden cross. Hallelujah! <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Woo. Right on the dot, 9.30. We got the golden cross candle, parabolic SAR, and we are above that downtrend. Put rockets in the chat for Bitcoin right here, guys. That 9.30 candle. My God. 9.30 candle. And hopefully this gives Bitcoin that momentum it needs to uptrend. Right exactly, 9.30 on the dot. This is good. And uh, let's see what's happening to ETHW right here. Let's see what would happen right here on the five minutes. Are we oversold yet on ETHW? Yes. ETHW is completely oversold right here. So maybe people are going to buy up some ETHW right here as well on this 9.30. Now keep in mind, but keep in mind, ETHW is up significantly. From six dollars to ten, that's a big move up. So we're just watching ETHW. If people buy right here, I'm not gonna buy it right here. I'm already been holding, so I would not buy it right here. But Bitcoin right here to this 9:30 candle, that's um our uptrend right there. So let's see how that position is going right now. I got in a little bit early. Boom! It's up 0.19 percent. It's already up 92 dollars on this position. 97 dollars. 170 dollars. 206 dollars. Woo! <laughs> Bitcoin, that 9.30 candle, right on the dot, broke that downtrend right there. Golden cross, this was a beautiful candle right here. God, I love that 9.30 candle. That was the moment in time we needed to break that downtrend. And uh, uh, if you trade if you trade on MetC, you can get like uh, some of these future bonuses as uh, well. Like deposit 500 to like 20,000 different bonus rewards and different structures. I'll put the referral link in the chat. If uh, you guys were in a position on Bitcoin before this 930 candle, congratulations, you are in the profits. Now, are you going to ride those profits up to above $19,000? Maybe you are. I think Rob was already in the position, right, Rob? I sent you the positions. Uh, can I show you your position on YouTube? Is that okay? Yeah, okay. You can tell my friend's not here. My friend, she moves in about six more days. I, I talk really loud when she's not here. When she's here, I talk very quietly. Uh, share your current positions. So I'm going to show Rob's positions. Uh, this is his one, first position. He went long 20 times. Uh, that's on Dogecoin at 6.3 cents. I did 6.3 multiple times on Doge. I like that number, Rob. And then he went long on Bitcoin with a 15 times leverage at 18.959. So he's up. 
a pretty good profits already right now. And if I look at my position, my position right here, not bad. It's like up uh, $525 now, 1% for this position right here. But keep in mind, big word right here, demo trading. This is on demo trading, so it's not really my money. But this quenched my thirst for trading Bitcoin, and it helps me keep sharp on my technicals. I gave you guys the exact time to the minute of when Bitcoin was going to break the downtrend. The exact moment in time we would break the downtrend. Look at the exact candle. Boom. And then we start this beautiful, beautiful uptrend for Bitcoin. Now the question is, will ETH W follow Bitcoin? Well, let's see right here. Getting a big spread. It's at $11 right here. Um, let's put it up here. ETH, ETH, ETH W. And then Bitcoin. Yes, it did. It's following Bitcoin. Put rockets in the chat if you guys like this type of content. Right on the dot, exactly right on the dot, to the minute, to the T, right on the candle when the candle came in. My God. Right on the kisser. Right on the kissel. A kissel. <laughs> My speech impediment kicked in. Kissel on the lips. <laughs> -la 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 -la. Did anybody, did anybody enter a position on Bitcoin or ETH W? Right at that, right before 9.30, maybe at 9.29, we broke that downtrend, and we can see here, Luna Classic's uptrending a little bit too, but we see here that we are getting, ETH W is following Bitcoin, so let, let's measure the move here, let's do the um, 2.22 candle, or no, let's do 9.30, so from 9.30 until now, Bitcoin went up 0.22%, from 9.30 until now, it, ETH W went up about 3%. <laughs> Woo! Look at that beautiful uptrend. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see, I tell you. Beautiful. Right on the dot. Now, that was my prediction that 930. I can't really guide you a little bit more from there. Like, that was it. After that, you have to watch this uptrend and watch for when it breaks. And uh, it's definitely too far out for me to predict when this uptrend will break for Bitcoin, but we can enjoy watching some of these liquidations. Uh, we do have some short-term resistance at $19,071. So, short-term resistance at $19,071 for Bitcoin. Not 701, 71. <laughs> and... Uh, I want to go back and clip that, but it's just so much to clip and stuff. I've been predicting this uh, 930 for a while. Let me go back and edit the stream.